What's up everyone? Welcome to class. For today's practice, all you'll need is yourself, your mat, a yoga strap, and two blocks. Go ahead and get started on your back. <clears throat> What's up everyone? Welcome to class. For today's practice, all you'll need is yourself, your mat, a pair of blocks, and a yoga strap. We're gonna get started today on our back. So go ahead and make your way onto your back. Place the blocks towards the top of the mat and make sure that you can comfortably rest your feet onto the blocks. You can move the strap off to the side. We'll be using that in a bit. Make sure that your heels are hanging out of the block. This flow is aimed to strengthen up our hamstrings and our glutes and hips. Take a moment here to settle, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. And whenever you're ready, prepare to drive your feet onto the blocks and lift your hips up towards the sky, keeping those glutes engaged, keeping the hamstrings engaged. And on your next breath in, lower down your hips slowly with control. Exhale, drive the hips up towards the sky. Lower down the hips onto the earth. Just eight more, just like that. Exhale, drive. Lower down. Exhale, drive, engage the glutes. Lower down. Exhale, drive. Inhale takes you to lower. Just five more like this. Exhale, drive. Inhale, lower. Exhale, drive. Inhale, lower. Exhale, drive. Inhale, lower. Exhale, drive. Inhale, lower. Last one, you're doing great. Exhale, drive. Hold it at the top. Squeeze your glutes. And inhale, lower down your hips with control. Take a moment here, maybe even stretch your legs up towards the sky. Perhaps even playing with this motion of flexing the ankle and pointing out through the feet. I know this movement burns, but this is really great for strengthening up those hamstrings. And whenever you're ready, begin to lower down your legs and rest the tops of your feet onto that block. Take an inhale to prepare. We're gonna take 10 more of those pulses, those supported bridge poses, one last time. Take a moment. On your exhale, drive for 10, nine, moving with a bit of pace here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Great work, extend your legs up towards the sky. Perhaps even play with that motion of flexing and pointing out through the feet. Lower down your legs with control and just walk your feet a little bit closer, just as you need. We're gonna begin by lifting the left leg up towards the sky. We're going to be doing single leg pulses now. Whenever you're ready, exhale to drive the hips up towards the sky. Drive that right heel down onto the earth. On your next breath in, lower down. We're gonna take five of these. Exhale, drive, lower down. Exhale, drive for three, lower down. Exhale, drive for two, lower down. Exhale, drive for one, left foot meets right. Inhale, extend your right leg up towards the sky. Working on side two. Take an inhale through your nose. And on your exhale, drive your hips up towards the sky. We're pulsing for five, four, Three, keep squeezing your glutes. Two, on one, gently lower down your hips 
with control. Go ahead and grab your strap and wrap your right foot into that strap. We're just going to be lengthening out the hamstrings now. And you're just going to gently pull the strap towards your face. Maybe even keep that right foot flexed. Or maybe even pulse it gently with control. Set your own pace, set your own time. This is your practice to adjust and modify as needed. Take one last breath here. On your next breath out, lower your right foot down. Lift your left leg up and wrap that strap around that left foot. Begin to pull that left leg towards your chest. And you're gonna just take a couple of pulses here, flexing that left foot. Pulse it. Feel the lengthening of the hamstrings. They should be working. Again, set your own pace. The straps are always really nice to make your arms magically longer and to close the gap between space. On your next breath out, remove the strap. Set the strap off towards the side. That's Ming Ming, our cat, who just made a guest appearance. Take a couple of rocks forward and back, using your core to control your speed. And then gently plant your feet down and make your way up into a forward fold. Move the blocks to its highest setting, adjust as you need. Take a couple of moments to just shift yourself forward and back. Good news is we're not going to be spending any time on our hands. This is going to be very lower body focused. And whenever you're ready, find a forward fold. Make sure that your feet are inner hip width distance apart. You can measure this by taking your right hand into a fist and making sure that your feet are pressing against that fist. Whenever you set your measurement, go ahead and rest your fingers onto the blocks. Fold forward, bending the legs. Make sure that your legs are bent so far that your lower belly has this connection with your thighs or your quads. Take an inhale through your nose to prepare. On your exhale, you're going to drive your hips up towards the sky. Try to straighten your legs as, to the best of your capacity without losing that connection between the lower belly and the thighs. Then bend the legs, then drive to straighten. Bend the legs, drive to straighten. Take a couple of rounds of this at your own pace, making sure that your glutes are active and the hamstrings are on fire. Working on our active compression, which is really gonna help us in our handstand practice or in inversion practice. Take one last drive. Then bend the legs. Using the power of your hips and strength from the legs, rise up, begin to straighten up through the legs. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Then exhale, cactus, open up through the arms, drawing the shoulders down the back body. Inhale, hands meet at heart center. Exhale, drive the hips back to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Strength from the legs to bring you right back up to that Urvahastasana. Exhale, cactus open. This time your hands are gonna meet at heart center. Shift your hips back to find the stable chair Utkatasana position. Again, strength from the hips, strength from the glutes here. They come up high onto your tippy tippy toes. 
Maybe shifting your gaze forward, establishing your drishti. Try to draw the heels in towards each other without them actually touching. And you're going to keep your upper body stable as you slowly lower down. Ride that elevator. Lower, 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 and lower. Great job. Set your blocks off towards the side. And settle into this toe stand just for a moment. Feeling that mobility of the ankles working for you. Then you're going to shift your weight back with your chest. As you lean your knees forward towards the top of the mat, the knees are going to land lightly as humanly possible. Take a moment here. On your exhale, you're going to drive your hips up towards this camel prep. Inhale, lower your glutes down towards your heels. Lift the knees up and lower the heels down. Finding this compressed passive squat, passive malasana. On your next breath in, come up high onto the tippy tippy toes and slowly lower down your knees onto the earth. Play with the balance and play with the counterbalance with the chest. On your exhale, squeeze your glutes as you drive up. Inhale, lower the glutes down onto the heels. Lift the knees, lower the heels. Lift the heels, lower the knees. Drive the hips up. Maybe even find this camel prep. Just one last round, lower the glutes. Lift the knees, lower the heels. Lift up onto the toes, lower the knees. Drive your hips forward. Maybe even find that camel prep, but don't lose that connection of the hamstrings and your glutes. Lower your glutes down to the heels. Lift the knees. Lower the heels. This time, come up high onto your heels, and you're going to try your best to drive up to stand. Lower the heels. Great work. I know that wasn't easy. From here, you are going to set your stance up towards the top of the mat and hug your left knee towards your chest. Perhaps even set a drishti, establish your balance, grounding onto all four corners of that right foot, buoyancy in that right standing leg. Then interlace your hands right underneath your left hamstring. Maybe even flex the foot for this portion. And maybe even lean back for the counterbalance. On your next breath out, you're going to kick that leg to straighten. Inhale, draw it back in. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, draw it back in. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, draw it back in. This time, bring your hands up to shoulder height. Take an inhale. Think extroverted space. Really open up through the chest. And on your exhale, kick that left leg forward. Inhale, draw it back in. Left leg finds a home towards the back of the mat. Trust yourself in space here as you make your way into Anjaniyasana. Reach out through the fingertips. On your exhale, you're going to drive down through that right heel to push you into Ardha Hanumanasana half splits. Inhale, Anjaniyasana. Keep teetering with this motion forward and back, really challenging the range of that right ankle. Exhale, Ardha Hanuma, half splits. Inhale, dig through that right heel, Anjaniyasana. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. This time as you inhale into Anjaniyasana, tuck the left toes in and float that left leg up into high crescent lunge. Get some buoyancy here. Really try to square the hips forward, driving down energy through the feet. The cactus open up through your arms as you drive that right heel to straighten. The shoulder is going to help with the balance challenge here. Really establish your drishti. And on your next breath in, lean, 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 lean forward into that high crescent lunge, but really challenging that range of that right leg. On your exhale, drive that right heel to straighten the right leg. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, straighten the right leg. 
This time, as you lean, lean, lean your weight forward, you're gonna be bypassing through Crouching Warrior into one-legged Tadasana, left knee into chest. Take a breath in as the left foot meets the right, making our way to side two. Inhale, hug your right knee in towards your chest. Again, establishing your balance here, rooting down on all four corners of that left foot. Say hello to Ming Ming onto the right side. Really just get acclimated here into the space. Interlace your hands underneath that right hamstring this time. Take an inhale through your nose. On your exhale, straighten that right leg. Inhale, drop back in. Exhale, drive to straighten. One last time, inhale, drive back in. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, drive it back in. Hands to shoulders. Really open up through your heart, shine your heart through. Take an inhale. Exhale, push everything. Inhale, drive that right knee back to center. Right foot finds a home towards the back of the mat. Land with control. It's okay to feel the wobbles. The work is in the wobbles after all into Anjani Asana. <laughs> this time, drive that left heel onto the earth as you push back into Ardha Hanumanasana. Adjust yourself as needed, of course. On your inhale, drive, drive, drive forward. Challenging the range of this left ankle this time. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. One last time, just like that, you're doing great. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, lean, lean, lean forward until you can float that right leg up into high crescent lunge. Cactus, open up through the arms. Dig with that left heel to straighten that left leg. Maybe the left toes float. Inhale, lean back forward into high crescent lunge. Exhale, drive that left heel. Left leg straightens. Maybe the left toes float. Challenge your balance. Even if you're wobbling, it's totally normal. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, drive. Cactus, open up through the arms. This time as you lean your weight forward, hands meet at heart center, bypassing through crouching warrior to one-legged Tadasana, right knee into chest. Lower the right foot down to meet the left. Feel free to shake out through the legs. Now we're gonna be adding to this pattern of our flow. So take a moment to just settle into your Tadasana. Inhale, left knee drives into the chest. Hands at shoulders. Exhale, kick. Inhale, make your way into Anjaniyasana. Exhale, push it off into Ardha Hanumanasana. Listen for the change here. As you shift your weight forward, you are going to find your pyramid pose. Maybe the hands float. You can always leave your fingertips onto the earth if you can't find your balance. Then from here, shift your weight forward into high crescent lunge. Cactus, open up through the arms as you drive through that right heel to straighten the right leg. Good job. Inhale, back into high crescent lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, back into high crescent. Exhale, drive that right leg to straighten. Maybe the right toes float. One last time, just like that, you're doing great. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, modified pyramid pose. Maybe the right toes float. Challenge your balance. Shift your weight forward into high crescent lunge. Cactus, open up through the arms as you straighten out that right leg. Shift your weight forward into crouching warrior, bypassing through that warrior into one-legged Tadasana. Lower the left foot down to meet the right. Straight on to side two. Inhale, right leg into chest. Exhale, kick it open. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Right foot finds a home in the back of the mat. Shine your heart through. Dig through that left heel as you find your Ardha Hanumanasana half splits. Shift your weight forward and make your way into pyramid pose. Maybe the left toes float, keeping check with the wobbles. Inhale, shift your weight forward, high crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus, open up through the arms as you drive that left heel onto the earth. 
Feel the wobbles, feel the shakes. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, float the arms back into pyramid pose. Maybe the left toes float. Exhale, high crescent lunge. Cactus, open up through the arms as you straighten that left leg. One last round just like that. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, high crescent. Cactus, open up through the arms as you straighten that left leg. Float the left toes up if you can. Shift your weight forward, bypassing through crouching warrior. Right knee into chest. Lower the right foot down to meet the left. Shake out the legs here just for a moment. Breathing in through the nose and finding a strong position in this Tadasana. Take three breaths here. Inhale, that left knee comes up towards the chest. Exhale, kick it open. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, Ardha Hanuman. Half splits. Shift your weight forward. Keep bending into that right leg to shift your hips back into space, into pyramid pose. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Cactus, open up through the arms as you straighten that right leg. This time, straight into that crouching warrior. Left knee into chest. Exhale, left foot meets the right. Inhale, right knee into chest. Exhale, kick it open. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Exhale, shift your hips back into space. Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Shift your weight forward into pyramid pose. Exhale, high crescent lunge, good job. Cactus, open up through the arms as you straighten out through that left leg. Keep your gaze forward. Bend through that left leg, crouching warrior. Right knee into chest, one-legged Tadasana. Right foot meets left. Rest your hands along the sides of your body. It's wonderful work. Feel your hamstrings working. Hands meet at heart center. Come up high onto your tippy, tippy, tippy toes. Clicking the heels in towards each other without them actually touching. Engaging the glutes and keeping the upper body completely stable. Start to lower down in that elevator. Seven count journey for seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Great work. Lower down your knees towards the top of the mat. Take an inhale to prepare for our series of trust balls. Remember, for every back bend, I want you to fire up the glutes to protect that lower lumbar spine. On your exhale, drive your hips towards the top of the mat. You could either tuck the toes or untuck the toes, whichever you prefer. Bring your hands across your chest. Take an inhale through the nose. On your exhale, you're gonna lower down your back as if you're doing a trust fall and someone's about to catch you. Only it's you who needs to trust yourself. And inhale to rise. Exhale, keep squeezing the glutes as you lower your back down. Inhale, drive it forward. Exhale, lean back. Hold for three, two, on one. Awesome, awesome work. Lean back onto your heels. Lift the knees. Click the heels down and drive up to stand. Now we are going to do a active splits activation. So you could bring your blocks along to your side to help you with your balance, but we're going to come into an action that replicates the splits. Only this time, you are going to lift your right toes up. Remember, you could use the blocks to help you with your balance here. We are going to hold this for a moment. So first, I want you to establish your gaze. 
And I want you to stay active in the hamstrings, stay active in the feet. And it's okay if you're shifting sideways. The work is always in the wobbles. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, if you would like to challenge your balance, you could float the right toes up. Keep driving that right heel down. Hold it here. Maybe you could go even lower this time, but maintaining that scissoring action of the inner thighs. Hamstrings are on fire. We're here for five, four, three, two, on one, lower down, onto a half split. But if you're working on your full split, grab a block, or you don't need a block, you could just find your full Hanumanasana. But the blocks are always gonna be nice to place underneath that right hamstring. Find an upright position in your Hanumanasana. You wanna make sure, sure that you could breathe in this shape. Feel free to stick to that half splits if needed. Again, keep trying to square the hips forward, squeezing the inner thighs in towards each other. We're here for five, four, three, two, on one, drag that right heel towards you. And you are going to make your way into this forward fold, driving the hips up towards the sky. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time that right foot is going to travel towards the back of your mat. Set yourself up. Again, you can use the blocks to help you with your balance here. We're gonna work on that active splits, this time with the left leg forward. You can reach your arms to the side like airplanes. If you want an extra balance challenge, float the left toes up. Keep squeezing your inner thighs in towards each other. Establish a relationship with your drishti, your focal point. We're here for five, four, three, two, on one. That right knee is going to land softly onto the mat. Feel free to stay here in Ardha Hanumanasana, the half split, or feel free to take full splits. Again, using a blanket or a block, placing it underneath that left hamstring this time. Focus on pulling that right hip forward and pulling that left hip back. You wanna resemble this action of squaring off through the hips even though that is probably anatomically impossible or challenging, but you wanna just resemble that action, right? Find a position where you can keep your spine nice and upright, squeezing the inner thighs in towards each other, keeping that right glute active. Make sure that you could breathe in this asana. We're here for five, four, three, two, on one. Bring your left heel towards you. And for our closing shape of the day, I want you to take a straddle position. They don't have to be as wide, you could short, shorten the stance if needed, but because your hamstrings are working and on fire, this is going to be really, really nice. But I want you to create activation before you settle into the shape by pressing the hamstrings and your heels down onto the earth, almost as if you could drive a hole through the earth. and then release it. Breathe here. And as always, take as much time as you need in your closing shape or whatever shape you feel is calling to you today. 
Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. I hope that you are reveling in the way that your hamstrings are feeling. It's always so important to strengthen the hamstrings because we need to counter all of the sitting down that we do all day on our computers, working from home. And it's always wonderful to see how strong our hamstrings are throughout different aspects of our yoga asana practice. If you haven't done so already, please drop a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe to my page. That really, really would be appreciated. Again, thank you so much for your practice. I hope to practice with you in the future.